it seems like many of you like to play mobile games that are offline. Games you don't need an internet connection for because maybe you travel a lot or maybe you don't have a regular or a strong enough internet connection. So what I do is I shuffle through the internet and always try and find and test out some of the best options for you to play. So when something new comes into play or something sparkles my eye, I can share it with you. So today I'm bringing you 10 new offline mobile games that you should try because they're worth your time. Merge War is an offline strategy style game which has auto chess elements to it. You're going to be able to put together dragons and beast fighters that are going to be able to fight their way along on the board. Now this looks a lot like a game that we know called Clash Mini. And this auto chess style gameplay is getting more and more popular over time where you're going to need to strategize where you place your troops on the board so they can do the actions that they do. We're talking about their attacks. What makes Merge War stand out is that this is an option that you could play offline rather than needing to do any other PVP with other real life players. Next on the list is Soul Knight. And although Soul Knight is not a brand new game, it is one that has stood the test of time that I firmly believe is one of the best offline options for you to play right now or any time at all. This is a roguelike RPG game that has some really nice action elements to it, all while having a really good graphic style for those of you into the retro style games. If you're into action RPG style games that have more of a Zelda look and feel, this could be a really good option for you. As I mentioned, it has stood the test of time. It's available on Android and on iOS, and it has a massive community of people playing. Now, with it being offline, does a massive community really matter to you? Well, it does if the developers are going to continuously update the game, which they do, so that it's always fresh, always new, and always running smooth for you. Origami Paradise is a stylized, artistic, casual game for you that also has those idle elements, which means you don't have to have your fingers on the glass all of the time. Now, what stylized means is it just has that art style that people will play because they enjoy the element of artwork. And as you can tell, all these creatures are made of folded up paper. I think this is a really cute, nice looking game, one that won't take a ton of your time and one that you could play when you're looking for something casual, something that's not going to stress you and something that you could just kind of relax, kick back and play, especially when there is no internet. And we have Slime Quest, which is an 8-bit offline RPG style game with some really cute style graphics and a bit more of a platformer style battle mechanic. As you can see right here, if you're looking for something that's super serious and super grindy, you're not going to have that right here. But if you're looking for something that's kind of fun, kind of unique, and something that you could take offline on a casual tip, which we'll kind of see as a trend for all these games, well then this could be a good option for you, especially if you're looking for something that's an RPG offline style game that doesn't have those 8-bit graphics or those pixelated graphics, I should say, but a more simple 8-bit style that is a little bit more refined than just the blocks. So guys, let me know what your favorite mobile games are that you're playing right now. You could just go right down in the comment section of this video and type in a game that you want me to take a look at because you never know when I'm going to feature it in an upcoming video. Cat Snack Bar is another idle style offline game where you are going to be managing your shop. You're basically going to be in charge of making sure that all of the cats in the store here are fed, happy, and everything is going nice and smooth. Upgrade your shop as you go, get helper cats to kind of keep things moving more smoothly, and manage things properly so you could take these management skills into real life. Now obviously we're looking at another casual style game right here, another offline opportunity for you to kill some time while you're on a plane ride or after the power goes out and you need to waste your phone battery on something. Cover Fire is an offline shooter game that really fits your need for something high intensity in action even when that connection is not with you. It's a really nice looking game and the element of battle here is something that we don't see in many of the other games that we have on today's list. And as you can see right here, the gameplay looks very much like something you would come to expect from an online shooter, but in this mode here, in this game, you're getting the opportunity to play it offline. If you're looking for something a little bit more serious than most of the casual games we've been sharing here on today's list, this would be an option for you, specifically if you're into the shooter genre. 
Next on the list, we have Orixo Hex, and this is a puzzle style game that utilizes hexagons to create puzzles that you need to then solve. Like many other puzzle style games, these ones can be brain twisters and you can challenge yourself along the way to solve the puzzles and master the game. An offline opportunity for you to get that stimulation, that mental mindfulness that you may need around the world and in life. Or maybe you just like puzzles and need it to play something offline. Either way, this is a nice looking game, super simple and also very fun. Long Nose Dog is an adventure style game in the vertical format, and I will tell you it's kind of like an endless runner, but you're a nose from a dog. So it takes that whole endless runner element of a game and it puts it into something that's different than we've seen before. Cool thing about this one is it's offline like many other endless runners, but this one does have that long nose feel, which is gonna be something different than other games that we're used to. Domino Dreams is an abstract, puzzle style game that focuses on strategy. You're gonna to need to utilize a strategy to complete the puzzles, play the levels, win coins, build different worlds, and compete. But you're gonna be competing against the phone itself because, like I mentioned, this is an offline game. Really cute graphic style here to bring the whole domino style game into play in a more fun way. You may ask, why would you play this game? And the answer to that is, well, you would play it because you like dominoes, you like this type of game, and you're looking for something that's just quick, easy, and fun. Shadow Fight 3 is another one of my favorites, and this is a really nice looking action fighting game that has some really good gameplay mechanics to it. It's one of the better fighters on mobile altogether, in my opinion, with a really nice way to control the game and just nice competitive levels as you go further and further through the game. This being said, this is not the first in the genre. And if you're not into Shadow Fight 3, maybe you'll like previous renditions of the game because in my opinion, they are all very good. But if you're looking for action and you're looking for a fighter, this is the best option for you, in my opinion, offline. Remember Fall Guys? Well, that's not this game. This game is I The Last, and this is a Fall Guys style game with the offline element to it. It essentially is biting a bit off of Fall Guys, but it's a mobile opportunity for you to play a game that's very much like it, staying on the platforms with an offline element to the game. It's really goofy, but at the same time, it's really fun, and you need to just maneuver your way on these these platforms through the rotations and through the ups and downs. Can you be the last one standing in this one? So if you guys enjoyed the video, I thank you for sticking around till the end and I urge you to subscribe for more videos because I'll have another one for you tomorrow that you're not gonna wanna miss.